Hello, this is Mrs. Hethcote with Grade 4, Mid-Module 3 Review Test with Engage New York. Number 1 says to draw an area model to solve the following. Find the value of the following expression. When it says uh, find it, use an area model, I like to use my red pen to draw an area model around the words area model. Remembering that an area model is bigger and fatter than a tape diagram. So when I try to draw a 20 by 40 area model, it's going to be a nice big box like this, right? And then on one part, we're going to have the 20. So I'm going to draw a line like this, and I'm going to pretend I have 10 sections in each of those, giving me the 20. Then I'm going to multiply that times 40. To represent the 40, I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, right? So these 10s make the 40, and 40 times 20. So what you have to be thinking then is what is 10 times 10? Well, 10 times 10 is 100. So each of these boxes has 100 little tiny boxes inside if I'd actually done this on graph paper and counted out 10 boxes and 10 more boxes to make 20. And so you would just keep going so that you had 100 in each one, right? So that means that 40 times 20 is going to be 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. So this would equal 800. If you want to double check your work, which I always suggest we do, then you could really think about the 4 times 2 equals 8, right? But you also have um, the 20 times the 40. So you also have that 10 times 10, right? So 4 times 2, that gives you 8 times 10 times 10 is 100. So your answer still equals 100. And lots of kids I see don't actually write this part out, but they sure are thinking about it. I watch them do things like underline the 4 and the 2 to say 4 times 2 is 8. And then they remember that they have the 0 off the 20 and the 0 off of the 40. That's reminding you that 10 times 10 is 100. Nice job. The next one says 5 times 324. So still have to use an area model. This time I'm going to use an area model that's shaped a little differently, a little longer. And I'm going to have my 5 on the side and I have to decide how to break up the 324. Well, I like to do it by place value. So I'm gonna put my 300 here. That's a big chunk of my area model. Then I'm going to have a 20 here. That's the next chunk of my area model. And then I do have a ones column, so I'll put the four at the end there. Now let's multiply and get the area of this rectangle right here. So if I go 5 times 3, I get 15, but it's 15 hundreds. So if it's in the hundreds place, that would be 1,500. Then I have 5 times 20. I can think 5 times 2 tens. 5 times 2 tens is 10 tens, and 10 tens would be 100. 5 times 2 equals 10, but this was actually a 20, so I still multiply by 10 to get the 100. Lastly, I have 5 times 4 equals 20. So now I have the area of the three smaller boxes. I need to add them together. So I get 1,500 plus 100 plus 20 and that gives us a total of 1,620. I'll probably put it up here to make it easier for my teacher when he or she grades my paper, all right? So that's how you do number one. Let's go ahead and move on to number two. Number two is nice because it says you can use any place value strategy to multiply. So I can do it any way I want, which I love. So I'm gonna start with three times 75. So I like to write it up and down. 
This one I can go ahead and do the standard algorithm. If I go 3 times 5, that's 15. The 5 goes in the 1's place, and I bundle the 1. I bundle it, or I carry it, or I move it to the tens column. I'm going to add that later. 3 times 7 is 21. And that's already in the tens column. So 3 times 7 is 21 plus 1. You have to remember that 1 that we have from before. So 21 plus 1 is 22. And it goes right there. It's already in the hundreds in the tens column, so you're good. Let's look at B. B makes it a little harder. They're like, do you know your fours times tables? So we take 275 times four, right? Um, let's go ahead and multiply. Let's do a partial product. I love that. So I'm going to need a four times for the ones column. I'm going to need a four times for the tens column and a four times for the hundreds column. And then I will add those all together. Let me see if I can make that look just a little bit better. All right. So what will I put in that first line? Four times what? Yeah, four times five, because we have a five right there. What will I put on the second line? Seven? Really? You think this looks like a seven? That does not look like a seven to me. What is that number? Yeah, it's a 70. Be really, really careful. People like to just put the seven because you see the seven, but it's really important that you remember it's in the tens column, so it's actually 70. All right, and in the last one, we'll put four times two. What? You think this is a two? It doesn't even look like a two. What is that number? Yeah, that's 200. Super important that you remember it's 200 and that you multiply correctly. So then we go 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 70 is 280. 4 times 7 is 28. But if I put the 28 here, I'll get the wrong answer because it's not in the correct place value, right? It's 280 because there's a zero in the ones place. Then we have 4 times 200 would be 800. Again, making sure it's in the right column. And then we add it together. So adding that together, I'm going to get zeros. Ooh, 8 plus 2 is 10, so I need to carry or bundle my 1. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 more is 11. So we get 1,100 for our answer there. Very nice. What's the most important part of that one? Remembering to do your hundreds place, tens place, etc. Be really careful on that. All right, let's go to C. Let's do C using um, the area model. You, again, you can do any place value strategy that you like. So I'm just trying to give you a variety. So I'm going to put an 8 on the side and draw a long area model. For one, I'm going to have 1,000. For the next box, I'm going to have 200. I don't need a zero box because it would be tiny. There would be nothing there. And then I have a six for the last box. What is eight times 1,000? Eight times 1,000 is 8,000. Next, you need to think eight times 200. Well, 8 times 2 is 16, but that has to be in the hundreds place. If the 16 is in the hundreds place, then there's nothing in the tens place, nothing in the ones place. So you get 1,600. And lastly, I have 8 times 6. Your teacher is really checking to see that you know your times tables all the way up to your 6s, 7s, 8s. So you need to practice those before your test. 6 times 8 is 48. And then we add those all together. So I get 8,000 plus 1,600 plus 48. And that will be 8, 4, 6, 9. So I'll put that up here nice and big for my teacher. 9,648. All right.
All right, and let's do the last one. Let me do a little erasing so that we can see it better. So I have more room, really, is what I'm saying. Okay, so if we have 7,052 times 6, let's go ahead and do this one in partial product also. I know you might be saying, seriously, lady, let's just do it in standard algorithm. It doesn't take as much writing. Well, you're right, it doesn't take as much writing, but it often leads to mistakes, and we don't want those. So I'm going to need to put 6 times 2 for my ones place. I'm going to put 6 times 5. That's not a 5, people. What is that? It can't be a 5. It's a 50, right? Be really careful. You're in your tens column. All right? So we've got 6 times 50. And then we could put 6 times 0, but we don't need it. And I'm running out of space. So I'm going to go over to the thousands column and write 6 times 7. Thousand. Yeah, be really careful about that 7,000. All right, and then we just do each part. 6 times 2 is 12, making sure you're in the 1's place and then the 10's place. 6 times 50, right? 6 times 50 is, well, let me think it through. 6 times 5 is 30, and then there's that would be 30 in the 10's place. And so you have that zero in the ones place. So 6 times 50 is 300. And then last, we have 6 times 7 is 42. But 6 times 7,000 is 42,000. And so we write it out, 42,000. And now I can add everything together. I have a 2, a 1, a 3, a 2, a 4. 42,312. You can write that right up here, 42,312. Make sure you're nice and neat so your teacher can read it. We will go on to the others in the next video. Thanks for watching.